Good morning, everyone. My name is Caroline Ross, and preparing this speech has reminded me why I will not be going into public speaking. <laughs> but here it goes. Um, I'll be graduating from New Trier in two weeks, and I've been going to Kenilworth Union since I was 12. Though the beginning of my life in the church didn't start here, I've grown to feel deeply rooted in KUC. But it's hard to always feel so connected to the church. As most of you know, high school can be notoriously consuming. It's filled with sports, classes, friends, dances, and loads of teenage angst. I've personally felt the weight of these components of high school tug at my attention and distract me from what I consider to be truly important in my life, God's love. And when I reflect on how I've continued to feel God's presence throughout my high school career, KUC is the common denominator. I have seen and experienced God's love so many times at Kenilworth Union, but there are three memories in particular that stand out. The first memory I'd like to share is from last year on the impact mission trip to Jamaica, where we had the opportunity to hear one of the local ministry leaders named David give his testimony. He spoke to us about his life of violence, gangs, and drugs. David talked about the shootouts he had witnessed and the constant partying that dominated his behavior and perspective. But David discovered God and relied on him to get his life back on track. He began regularly attending church and growing his faith in God. As he told us these stories, I was amazed by all that he had endured, and I knew that only the love of God could help someone through these difficulties. The second memory is actually from outside KUC. Two years ago, our field hockey team was driving down to St. Louis for a tournament. Some of the girls were using a speaker to play music, and one of the songs that we sang frequently on the Guatemala mission trip came on. At the risk of putting them in the spotlight, two of the seniors who were also on both the Guatemala trip and the bus to St. Louis, Megan Minturn and Aaron Joseph recognized the song and we immediately began singing along together. This experience reminded me that our time together on the mission trip connected us in God's love. The third one is from the Guatemala Impact Mission Trip where my team worked in an orphanage slash school for HIV positive children. One day during lunch, I was sitting with one of the little boys who lived there. As he was eating a piece of watermelon, he turned to me and offered me a bite. Despite his incredibly tough circumstances, this young boy was extraordinarily generous. He did not even hesitate to share his food with a complete stranger with whom he did not even speak the same language. His altruistic actions reflected the powerful love of God by selflessly putting another person's needs before one's own. As Romans 8, 38 through 39 states, nothing will ever be able to separate us from God's love. The experiences I've had with Kenilworth Union Church have taught me this by opening my eyes to God's all-encompassing, all-fulfilling love. I cannot describe the joy I feel when I think about how much KUC has shaped and strengthened my relationship with God and by helping me grow in ways that I could have never imagined. It is a blessing to be a part of the KUC community, and I am forever grateful to the people of Kenilworth Union Church. Thank you.